Next week, Tane and Perry have gone away camping for a few days, leaving Harper to face the Bay's questions on her own. Marilyn kindly gifts Harper a handmade blanket before asking if Tane wants a boy or a girl, but Harper doesn't know. When Xander later asks whether she and Tane will be attending the birthing classes together, Harper again does not know. Unfortunately for John, it's his questions about Harper and Tane's living arrangements that breaks the camel's back, as an agitated Harper confirms that they haven't yet discussed it. But when they do she will be sure to let him know. Dana approaches and intervenes, reminding John that if he wants gossip, he should come through her. As John leaves, Harper breaks down, overwhelmed by the ongoing uncertainty. John later apologizes to Harper for overstepping the mark with the nearby Alf commenting that he's the town's biggest gossip since Colleen Smart. Tane and Perry eventually return from their trip, Tane suggests to Perry that they should get their own place. Particularly since they'll need more room than they have, living with Mackenzie and Levi at the farmhouse, once the baby is born. Despite Tane and Perry having spent the last three days together, Harper still struggles to get some alone time with Tane to talk. When she politely asks Perry if he would mind giving her and Tane some privacy, Tane wonders if it's really that important. Tane explains to Harper that Perry was worried he would abandon him after hearing about the baby, and he has been attempting to show that he will keep his promise to him. But what about, Harper inquires, the promise Tane made to her and the baby? As Harper tells Tane about all the questions, John interrupts the conversation and proves Harper's point. Tane admits that he doesn't know what the future holds for them yet, but promises that he will be at the ultrasound next week as well as all future scans. Tane soon finds his loyalties torn when he returns home to find Rose had called over to talk to Perry about his complaint against Carl. The DPP are happy to proceed in prosecuting him, and have set a tentative court date, but it will only go ahead if Perry is willing to testify against his father. When Tane asks for details, a disappointed Perry tells him that if he'd been there with him when he was talking to Rose, then he'd know. Perry apologizes the next day, and having already spoken to Rose himself, Tane is now up to speed on the situation. As Perry asks what he should do, Tane tells him that it's got to be his own decision. Perry knows that he cannot let Carl get away with what he did, and so reluctantly agrees to testify. Tane promises to be at Perry's side during his court appearance, scheduled for the following Thursday. However, when Harper later informs Tane that the ultrasound is booked in for next Thursday, his heart sinks. Rather than tell Harper the truth from the outset however, he simply admits that he cannot make it. Tane follows her out, but neglects to explain the importance of what's actually going on with Perry. Instead, he creates drama for drama's sake by vowing to be there for her on Thursday after all.